I can't even believe I'm filming in this heat. This is sickening. Um, hi. <coughs> it has been two whole years since I've been on YouTube. Have not made a video at all. Um, and I wanted to make a video because I have recently started buying and collecting Doc Martens. Um, and I know that they're very expensive, but I've been finding them on websites where they're a little bit less expensive than they would be from the official website. So that's what this video is going to be about. I know you guys hate when everyone has a super long intro and they tell you about their whole life story. It's like when you go on a recipe website and they tell you like their great meme from 1968 made it and they used to have it for every Christmas. Like girl, I'll just get to the fucking point. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a short video. I'm just going to go through pair by pair and yeah, I'll let you know what style they are. Um, how much they cost and how much they cost on the official Doc Martens website. They are still expensive shoes, but at the end of the day, like people have said that they've had their Doc Martens for like six plus years. So I think that they're worth the investment on them and they just have so many different styles. I think they're so cute and they're durable. Like the platform of them, I'm not going to be wearing this down anytime soon. So the first pair that came up in my email were these. These are the Devon Hart boots. They have them in black and white. On the official Doc Martin website, they run for about $180. Um, I was able to grab them for $153 on this website called S. It's Sense, but there's two S's. So it's S S E N S E. So, you know, if they have your size, that's like I said, still expensive, but it's a significant cut from 180 to 153. So even if you want these and 153 seems like too expensive or 180 seems too expensive, there might be websites that offer like a payment plan on them where you can split it up into four payments like Klarna or um, Afterpay. So that's something to look into as well. But yes, these are like, I think these might be, these are my favorite pair of the boots. That I own. Another thing that I feel like is mentioning with the boots especially, I don't really have this problem with the sandals as much, um, you need to be prepared for how long it's going to take to break these in because I didn't really know like the whole process of breaking in Doc Martens and I wore these ones and my back of my ankles were literally bleeding so yeah definitely make sure you're wearing your thick socks, high socks, um, and try to ease your way into it like wear them for a little bit little periods at a time instead of wearing them for like 24 hours the first time that you wear them cool i have the hiccups second pair i might as well because i just showed them um are the Jaden boots Jaden leather platform boots um these are the ones that literally had my ankles bleeding because they're hard to break in but they're look like this they have the zipper on the other side these run for 180 i'm actually looking at the official doc martin's website and they do mention that they have klarna and afterpay so again you can do like the four month payment installments on them instead of paying the 180 up front which i think is totally worth it for boots that are going to last you forever these again they come in both black and white um the white ones i don't think are have like this shine on them they're just kind of like a matte looking style those are the only two pairs of boots, Doc Martin boots that I have. The rest of them are all sandals. So I'm going to go through my pairs of sandals, let you know how much I paid for those and where I got them from compared to the official Doc Martens prints. So the next pair that's coming up are these um, Voss, V-O-S-S Voss leather strap platform sandals. So they have the Voss style in like a fur and then these ones are the leather. So this is what they look like. They've got the signature dock dotting. These ones are $110 on the Doc Martens website and I am a clown so I paid $110 um, for them on another website that had the other ones that I wanted because I was just like well they have these pair I might as well get them here and just throw everything together. As I said before, I haven't had any issues with comfort as far as the sandals go. They have like a foamy kind of padding on the inside. Um, the only thing is you don't want to make the straps too tight when you go to put them on because this will start digging into the back of your ankle. So I usually keep it on like the second one for my 
um, ankle and then I don't have any problems with them. But yeah, if you make that too tight, you're definitely going to have the friction and um, either blisters or bleeding or anything like that. But that's the same with any shoe. I bought these at 110. Um, just looking on Google here, I do see that there's other websites where they're, they have them for the lowest I'm seeing is like $100. So it's like a $10 difference. It's not a huge difference. So the next ones that I'm seeing coming up on my email are these ones. These are called the Voss 2. Hold on. Um, what the f these are the Voss 2 fluffy sandals um, in leopard print. So it's got like a crisscross in the front here. It, you can't really see it too well, but yeah, it's like a, a crisscross here. Um, they don't really have as big as a platform as the Voss leather. So you can see there's definitely a huge difference in how chunky these are. These are like Bratz doll shoes. The only thing I noticed with these ones that I don't particularly like is that it comes down in the front, like it kind of is almost tapered. Um, and it seems like it pinches your toes a little bit. So these ones are not as comfortable in the front as they are some of the other sandals, but look how cute they are. So I got these ones for $100 off of A website called YCMC Shoe. They have so many pairs of Doc Martens and they're slightly discounted from the regular website, so it's nice. Um, these ones, I couldn't find these particular styles on the official Doc Martin website, so I don't know if maybe they're discontinued or they're sold out. But looking on Google, there's other websites that have them for around $110. So again, very slight difference in pricing, but you know, save what you can. If I'm not wrong, um, these ones only come in, for the furry ones, they only come in the leopard print and black, but I do know that they have the leathered version of them as well, which might come in other colors. I'm not super positive, but they should all run for the same price. Next style that's coming up are these, which are the Francis Fluffy. Again, they are very cute, almost like a brat style looking type of shoe. Um, these ones do have a way chunkier platform, like the, um, the Voss ones, and I should have actually wiped these off. I wear these out all the time. The fur on them is so soft. I've spilled drinks on these and like they're still clean. I wouldn't obviously wear them out in the rain or anything, but they're very durable for being a fur sandal. Um, I know a lot of the times fur shoes or like fur slippers, they end up getting like matted, um, especially when you have something spilled on them or if you go outside in them or anything. So these ones I had gotten from YCMC as well. They were $110. And looking on Google, trying to see if there were any cheaper ones, I didn't see that. But I do know that this is the only color they come in. They only have this style um, furry ones in the black. Again, there's probably plenty of websites that you can find that will do a payment plan of like four or five installments on them. So you don't have to pay the whole 110 up front. But they're very cute. These last two, I can't put my receipt on. These were my first pairs that I bought. Um, I think they're the same, aren't they? Yeah. So they're the same. I have them in black and teal. They're the Blair Leather Gladiator Sandals. Um, I said that they were aqua, but they're actually considered mint on the website. They don't have these mint ones on the official website anymore though. I got, like I said, I got them from Free People and I can't find them there either. So I don't really know if these are available anymore. These are my most comfortable ones, These both of these pairs. The platform on them is not as chunky as the other ones and they were super easy to break in. Like I said, just make sure that you're not adjusting this ankle strap too tight or also have the um, back of it rubbing up against you. So looking online, the only website I can find that has these, right now they're listed as about $115. When I bought them from free people when they were actually available, I'm almost positive I spent like 95 on them, on both of these together. If you can't find these particular ones, they have them in loads of other colors. They have like yellow, they have white, they have a black matte, almost like this finish, as well as the black glossy. Which brings me to the last pair, which are the same as the other ones, just in a um, black glossy finish. But yeah, outside of, um, you know, finding websites that have payment plans that you can go on for them or just ser Google searching the style in general and kind of narrowing it down based on who has them cheaper and who doesn't. Um, you can also, whenever you first go to like a shopping website, they usually try to get you to sign up with your email. If you do that, they will send you a discount code and that you know, can take a good chunk of change off of your 
total purchase as well so pretty quick video from me just wanting to kind of get back into the groove of things with youtube so hopefully you guys will be hearing more from me if you have any questions definitely comment below and to make it easier i'll do my best to try to leave links for each pair below um so yeah just make sure you subscribe and comment other things you might want to see thank you bye